Oh, why are you doing this to me? You hold on your bed while keeping the air. Your patient is running out. It's 11 at night, but the two boys are still awake, having fun together, laughing like crazy. They don't care about you. You are getting annoyed since you want to sleep, but every time you fall asleep, suddenly you wake up to their laughter. You get up and peek outside your room. The two boys is still in the living room and it looks like they really have no plans to sleep or let you sleep. Should I kill them so I can have a peaceful life? You give them a death glare and slowly close the door. The two boys are heavy drinkers. So in other words, you will have to suffer and endure the noise that the two will make before you can sleep peacefully. As usual, the two boys talking to their high school and college memories when they smell something like burning. They look around but they don't see anything strange. They thought it was just their imagination so they ignore that and continue to laugh. Until the lights suddenly off and saw a black lady wearing a black veil holding a candle got lit coming to their direction. In so much shock and fear, they can't move. The two just look at the black lady. They were nailed to their seats while holding their breath. They were even more got terrified and felt mad with ghost bombs when she stopped in front of them and slowly turning her face and body to them. They can't bear anymore. They scream loudly and hug each other tightly in fear. The black lady took a step closer to them, and because of this, the body stood up and about to run. However, Aish! You curse. After the melted candle drips on your hand, you look at each other after recognizing your voice. Jimin turned on the lights and pulled the veil covering the black lady's head, which is you. Hello, boys! Jimin clenched his jaw and yelled after he realized it's you. Yeah! Do you know I almost died? At the same time, pulling your hair. And since you were also angry for not letting you to sleep, you also pulled his hair. You two, stop it! Jungkook said and tried you two to separate. Don't interfere with us, bro, Jimin said, and pushed him that makes him through. Still, he stood up and had your waist and pulled you away from Jimin, but you punched him, causing him to let you go and flew again. You took a pillow that was on the sofa and hit Jimin. For once, just let me sleep, little guy. You hit him hard, but Jungkook stood in the middle and you two accidentally hit his face, causing his nose to bleed. You and Jimin look at each other as you hide behind him. Oh, Pa, what are we going to do? Is he still alive? Asked him since Jungkook just closed his eyes while looking down. Later on, he opened his eyes and gave you two a death glare. Your brother quickly stepped back and pushed you to the front after seeing Jungkook's eyes that full of anger. Why I'm always dragging into your fight? Next time when I see you fighting again, I will definitely put you in a sack and feed you to a shark. Opa, sorry. Say sorry. Jimin pulled your clothes and signaled you to treat Jungkook's nose. You walked closer to him and held the end of your shirt. We're sorry, Ko. Do you want me to treat your nose? He looked at you, but this time his face expression was relaxed. 
He held your hands and pulled you to get the medicine kit, while Yumin ran and hide in his room. He was sitting while we were standing in front of him, screaming his bloody nose. He didn't move, he just stared at you. Do you have something to say? She flicked your forehead. Why in? Jimin is your older brother. I know your arguments are normal, it's a brother and sister thing. But still, he is your older brother, who stands as your mom and dad, and cares you a lot. So next time, I'm going to fight him back. You pout your lips after realizing he was right. You know in yourself that sometimes you cross the boundaries and limitations. Okay, from now on, I will try to do what you have said. I'm glad to hear that. But soon, later, you also flick his forehead. It's your fault too. Adults should also know your limitations. Look at the time. I'm still awake. I can't sleep because you both are so noisy. You put down the cotton bag you used to clean his nose and forcefully hold him to your room. Where are you taking me? To punish you. You push him to the bed and let him lay down. You as well. Put me to sleep, since you were the one of the reason why I couldn't sleep. YM, do you know what are you doing? Of course. Sing a song, so I can sleep. <sighs> Aha, I have an idea, so I can fall asleep right away. You grab his hand, and guided to pat your back. His mind blew away by what you did as he quickly gets up on the bed and ran going to the door unfortunately you quickly went to the door to block him oops where are you going why in i'm a man you're a woman you look up trying to figure out what does he mean i know omg why do you want to be a woman like me? Hold on. Don't tell me you like my brother. He face found himself in disbelief at what he heard from you. I mean, we're not married. To let me stay on your room. He said at the same time, he pushed your head with his index finger. So, you are my brother's best friend. I know you are trusted. Come on. I know you since kid. I know you are a good person. That's why I like you. Like my brother. He sighed and looks disappointed. You can't stop yourself from asking if you did something that makes him disappointed on you. You are really naive, YM. He said. What did you say? You stare at him intently, and slowly coming closer to him. He tries to avoid your gaze and get close to you, so he walks backwards however you keep on walking forward to him, until he hits the bed and suddenly sits on after losing his balance. You bend a little while closing your arms, trying to read his mind. You tilted your head. You are having a hard time to figuring something. You're not contented by staring at him, so you sat on his lap. He was so nervous, good thing he managed to control himself. What are you doing? You remain silent. You wrap your arms around his neck instead and say, I smell something, but I don't know what it is. Later on, you remove your hand around his neck, and all of a sudden, you place your ear to his chest to listen if the drum sound you heard came from his chest. But before you could do that, Jungkook stood up while carrying you, and without hesitation, he dropped you on the bed. Yeah, you know what? You need to see a doctor, so he will give you prescribed medicine for your stupidity. Excuse me, 
I'm not stupid. And even if I'm not stupid, I'm still famous for my voice. You see that? The pointed dress and heels prepared. What with that dress? I will wear that for my first day tomorrow. What? Did your brother know about this? Shh, don't tell him. All he knows, I'm going to a birthday party. Why and you can do this? He yelled and left the room, leaving him puzzled. He entered Jimin's room to tell him about your date, but he already asleep. He just threw himself on the sofa in frustration and looked his phone and opened the secret files where your pictures are received. I'm sorry, even if you get mad at me, I won't let you leave tomorrow. It's past 12 in the afternoon when you woke up. You stayed all night just to figure out why Jungkook was angry with you last night. You get up and sat on the bed. Until your eyes landed on the table where the heels and clothes you should wear are placed for today's blind date. Your friends ask you to join their group date. And since you want to experience that thing, you decided to go with them. You get up and look for it. Where is it? I'm sure I just put it here. You can't be able to go to the group date not wearing that because you set a dress and style code. You look in your cabinet but it's not there. You already searched the entire room but you can't really find it. Then Jimin comes into your mind. Your brother always pranking you so you can't avoid to suspect him. Opa! Your brother wasn't in his room and also everywhere. Jimin has an urgent meeting, why? Your focus went to Jungkook. You remember he saw the dress last night, but you hesitate to ask him since he never did such things that would make you angry. You only have one hour to prepare, but still you can't be able to find your dress and heels. Um, Ko, remember the dress last night and heels? Do you think my brother hide it? She looked behind and say, No, not him. Me, actually. Your jaw literally hit on the floor. Why did you hide it? Then give it back to me, you command. He smirked instead. And that smirk gave you the biggest fear in your life. It's like a devil smirk. This is the first time he saw him like that. Even if you get angry, I won't give it back to you. And one more thing, you can't leave. But why? My brother allowed me already. But I'm not allowing you. Slowly, you're keeping peace. And since you don't understand why he's doing this. Who are you? You're just my brother's best friend. So you have no right to stop me. I made a promise to your brother that I would take care of you on his behalf. Then take back that promise and just give me back my stuff. Even if you kill me, I won't give it back to you. Yo, why are you doing this to me? You just look at somewhere and remain silent which makes you even more angry. I wish you hadn't become my brother's best friend. Please don't come here anymore. I hate you. I hate you. As you run upstairs and lock yourself inside your room. Because of what happened, you won't be able to go to your blind date. You are not mad at what he did. You are mad at what he's doing because you are confused why. Why he's doing that? You legit that questions in your mind. The moment you enter your room, Jungkook slammed the table. He knows it hurts you, and what he fears you might end up locating him. 
because of his jealousy he did that. However, he can't tell you that he actually loves you. You're just 18 and he's 26. Aside from age gap, he also afraid that you just think of him as your brother. Around 5 in the afternoon, Jimmy knocked in your room. He was clueless on what happened earlier. Jimmy didn't say anything especially about the blind date. I brought pizza, your favorite flavor, Jimmy said. I have no appetite, you replied, but actually, you just don't want to see Jungkook. Come on, join me. I don't want to eat alone. Jungkook already left. He had something important to do. After you heard that he already left, you felt guilty and scared. What if he really did what you said? You only just said that because you were angry, and now you're regretting to say that to him. Six days later, Friday night, this time he's supposed to be at your house, but no Jungkook show up. You asked your brother if Jungkook was coming, but he said no. The next day, same thing happened. You asked Jimin. His answer, Jungkook is busy. But it's impossible. Even if he is busy, he really comes to your house every week. Another week passed. We are on the balcony, waiting for Jungkook's arrival, since it's Friday today. Later on, Jimin came home. Instead of greeting your brother, the first word out from your mouth is if Jungkook is coming. But he said no, he is busy which makes you paranoid and worry even more. What if he really takes your word seriously? One thing you realize, you miss him. After he left last time, he's playing on your mind. Saturday morning, you woke up early and rode your bike to Jungkook's house. You're anxious and restless the whole night. Aside from that, you really want to see him as well. So, you just gathered all your courage to see him. His mom let you inside and told you to go to his room. Probably, he's still sleeping. His mom was right. He was still sleeping, shirtless. In fairness, he looks so cool. You said to yourself that which surprised you. You always saw him like that, but even once, you didn't see him attracted. But now, his shirt is positively crazy. You walk tiptoe to avoid him waking up. Then you kneel down on the floor and start scanning his face. His brows, his skin, nose are so perfect. You stiff his lips. Your eyes travel again going down. You swallow your own saliva and lick your lips and feel hot. Your eyes focus on his. Is it earthworm? Or anaconda? You silently laugh. You're innocent but your mind is not. Your eyes travel again and now you focus on his lips. His lips seem so soft. You are busy thinking stupid things when you go open his eyes. Your eyes widen and about to stand, but he stops you. Why are you staring at me? What are you thinking? If it's earthworm or anaconda, I mean nothing. Liar, I know you're thinking something in your mind. My soul is clean, I promise. Then why are you here? I'm worried. I'm worried that you might really take my word seriously. I'm scared that you won't come to our house again. I'm scared that you might be mad at me. I got sick. That's why I didn't come to your house. Sick? You said and placed your hands on his forehead. He stared at you. Held your hand. As he placed it on his chest. This part was sick. I was diagnosed with love sickness. I love you. The reason I got sick is because you don't love me. 
The reason why I don't let you go on your date is because I got jealous. I'm sorry. You freeze for a second. The only thing that moved in is your eyes that continuously blinking while staring at his eyes. Then finally you speak. Oh, why does my heart feel like it's going to explode in happiness? Your face is slowly turn red like a boiled lobster. And with so much embarrassment, you just stand up and run. But before you completely left this room, you're so damn hot, Jungkook. Next part, getting shy at each other.